Candy, a freshman at UCLA during the turbulent late 1960s, is determined to make her mark as a reporter for the alternative newspaper, The Anti Bruin. She is meeting with the editor in chief, Sherry, to discuss a big potential story the recent firebombing of a campus theater. I appreciate your eagerness to get in on such a big story, Candy. But I already have a couple of reporters on it. They are looking into possible involvement from outside agitators, such as the People's Army. They could be right, of course. But isn't it equally possible that the attack was more personal than political? What are you getting at? I happen to know the stars of the play that was scheduled to open just a few days before the bombing. I know that my friend Theta broke up with her boyfriend Clive over creative differences, and walked off the play. That's intriguing. Anything else? I don't know if it means anything. But she did take up with a well-known radical on campus, right after she broke up with Clive. Pretty boy Floyd, they call him. Even more intriguing. I know that Floyd character. Why don't you find out what your friend Theta was up to with him just before the bombing? Of course, Theta could be perfectly innocent. I must admit Floyd is a really handsome guy. That might be all it is. Sexual attraction. Now, don't go all girlish on me. If you were too squeamish to risk a friendship for a story, I can always have someone else follow up on this lead. No, if I'm ever going to be a responsible journalist, I have to follow where the evidence takes me. Even if it costs me a friend. Candy drops by Theta's room with her reporter's notepad in hand. Theta is flattered, thinking that Candy wants to do a profile on her as a prominent campus actress. But the reporter has other ideas. I'd like to discuss in particular the play you walked out on, just before the theater fire bombing. Oh, that piece of fluff. I never took it seriously. I walked out because I wanted to turn it into a statement against the war, and Clive disagreed. He wanted it to remain a comedy. So he got himself a new leading lady. And you got yourself a new boyfriend. And right after that, the theater went up in flames. What are you suggesting? That there is some connection? I won't know that, until I've talked to Floyd. Don't you dare. He's my boyfriend now. Keep your hands off him. I'm not after your boyfriend. But I am after a big story. Your panic makes me think one of you, at least, knows something about the bombing. You are no friend of mine. Get out of my room, and stay out. I'm leaving. And you're right, I'm no friend of yours. Not when I'm on a story. I'm a reporter. <laughs>